Hi guys, welcome to number X. In this lecture, we are going to learn about rotation of axis without shifting origin and what is effect of such rotation on points which lie on the curve f of x, y. So let us start. Suppose P is an arbitrary point on the curve f of x, y and its distance from origin is equal to r and its position vector making an angle alpha with a positive direction of x axis. As per construction, length of OM is equal to r cos alpha and length of PM is equal to r sin alpha. When axes are rotated through an angle theta in anti-clockwise direction, then distance of point P from origin will not change it will remain r whereas the position vector will make now an angle alpha minus theta with positive x axis suppose capital x comma y is new coordinate of point p as per construction in a right angle triangle pao the length of oa is equal to capital x which is equal to r times cos alpha minus theta. Now we will use sum and difference formula and we can write it as r times cosine alpha times cosine theta plus sine alpha times sine theta. Okay. Now we will multiply it by r and we will get r cosine alpha times cosine theta plus r sine alpha times sine theta. We already know that r cosine alpha is equal to a small x and r sine alpha is equal to a small y. Okay. Now we will substitute r cos alpha by x and r sine alpha by y. Hence capital X is equal to x cosine theta plus y sine theta. Similarly, we can find the length of PA, okay, which is y coordinate in new axis so pa is equal to capital y which is equal to r sin alpha minus theta again we will perform the same operation and we will use sin a minus b formula in this equation okay and it will become sin alpha times cosine theta minus cos alpha times sin theta with a factor of r again we will multiply the whole quantity by r and we will get y is equal to r sin alpha times cosine theta minus r cos alpha times sin theta. Again we will substitute r sin alpha by y and r cos alpha by x. We have found abscissa and ordinate of point P in rotated axis without shifting origin. By equation this and this you can find the value of a small x and a small y okay and this will be equal to x cosine theta minus y sine theta and a small y is equal to x sine theta plus y cosine theta now the question is is there any easy way to remember this interconversion between x and a small x and capital y and a small y this can be done by using a table. I have written x and y here and capital X and capital Y in the first column. Okay. Now in the second row, I have written cosine theta and sine theta. And if you will differentiate cosine theta, you will get negative sine theta. And upon differentiating sine theta, you will get cosine theta. Suppose we have to find capital X then we will just multiply x by cosine theta and we will add y times sine theta okay similarly if we have to find capital y we will multiply x by negative sine theta and we will add y times cosine theta suppose we have to find a small x then we will multiply this x by cosine theta and we will add y times negative sin theta and we will get x cos theta minus y sin theta. Similarly, if you have to find a small y, then 
we will multiply x by sine theta and we will add uh, y times cosine theta. You can get right hand side terms by multiplying this matrix by this matrix. Okay, And you will get this equation by multiplying this matrix by this matrix. Okay, So let us move ahead. Now we will learn what is effect of rotation of axis on the curves without shifting origin. Suppose we have been given equation of curve without rotation and we have to find equation of curve with respect to rotated axis. Then we will simply replace x by capital X cosine theta minus capital Y sine theta and a small y by x sine theta plus y cosine theta. Then we have been given equation of curve with respect to rotated axis. And we have to find equation of curve without rotation. Then we will simply substitute capital X by this whole quantity and capital Y by this whole quantity. Okay. Now we will apply this concept in an example. The question is by what angle should the axis be rotated so that the equation ax squared plus 2hxy plus by squared becomes free of the xy term. Let given curve is f of xy is equal to ax squared plus 2hxy plus by squared. Now we will simply substitute the value of x and y with x cosine theta minus y sine theta and uh, x sine theta plus y, y cosine theta. Okay. Upon substituting, we will get a times x cos theta minus y sine theta whole squared plus 2 times h x cosine theta minus y sine theta times the quantity x sine theta plus y cosine theta plus b times x sine theta plus y cosine theta whole squared. Further, it can be simplified as this whole junkie expression, you can write it easily, I am very much sure. But important thing is that we have to find the coefficient of capital X times Y. Okay. Now we will collate the terms containing XY, okay, which is negative A times 2XY sine theta into cosine theta plus 2H times xy cos square theta minus xy sine square theta plus b times 2xy sine theta into cosine theta. Again, you can use 2 times sine theta into cos theta is equal to sine 2 theta and cosine square theta minus sine square theta is equal to cos 2 theta and similar thing will apply in this term also and we will get negative a times xy sine 2 theta plus 2h xy cosine 2 theta plus b xy sine 2 theta. Now we will take common factor as xy and we will left with negative a times sine 2 theta plus 2h times cosine 2 theta plus b sine 2 theta. So as per question, we have to make the whole expression free of the term xy. Okay. So this whole expression will become 0. Okay. Now multiplying both sides by negative sign and moving 2h cos theta on right hand side we will get a sin 2 theta minus b sin 2 theta is equal to 2h cosine 2 theta. Okay. Now on the left hand side we have sin 2 theta as a factor. So we will factor it out and we will left with sin 2 theta times a minus b is equal to 2h times cosine 2 theta. Upon dividing both sides by cosine 2 theta, we will get 2h upon a minus b, which in turn we will get theta is equal to half tan inverse of 2h upon a minus b. So this is the answer for this question. By end of this, we have finished this lecture. To get more videos like this, Please subscribe to our YouTube channel number X and hit the like button. You can share this video to other person and provide your valuable feedback in the comment box. So thanks for watching and I am looking forward to see you in the next lecture.